Did I do it right? to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, we're going to go over the dimensions of a blanket. Some of you had questions about all the different dimensions of all the different blankets out there. I had a couple questions about how do I measure out my blanket? Where do I measure from? So this video is going to answer all those questions. And it makes a lot of sense because there are so many different sized blankets that you can make and I'm hoping to conquer that question for you in this video. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button and share this video with anyone who you think would really benefit from this information. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click that bell. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you are not going to want to miss out. So what kind of blankets are there that you can make? Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's the receiving blanket, the crib size blanket, the swaddle blanket, there is the security blanket, there is the toddler size blanket, the lapgan, the small throw, the large throw, the twin, the toddler, there's the full, king, queen, did I miss any? Charts are great. They're a great resource to have because the chart will tell us all the names of the different types of blankets that you could make along with the width requirement of that blanket and the length requirement of that blanket. These two charts right here are in inches so if you need to you can absolutely convert that into centimeters but what part of the blanket is the width and what part of the blanket is the length? The width of your blanket is going to be from side to side. So consider the width of your blanket to be the number of stitches across that row, okay? This is where your foundation row is really going to come into play because your foundation row determines how wide your blanket will be, okay? The length of your blanket is going to be how tall your blanket is. Consider the length of your blanket to be how many rows you make. So at an association that you could use is the width of your blanket is how many stitches across and the length of your blanket is how many rows tall. Okay. All right, so let's watch how this plays out. In this example, we are going to use a 12 inch wide lovey. So I'm trying to hit the 12 inch mark here in my foundation row chain. Now you're going to need a measuring tape so that you can see how long your foundation row actually is and you're just going to chain. You want to make sure you count your chains that way when you reach the end of your foundation row desired dimension you know how many chains are in your foundation row. Okay super super important. Uh, so we're going to just keep chaining and checking, chaining and checking. When you measure, you are not going to stretch out your foundation row chain on your measuring tape. That will skew your measurement. You are, you are going to want to just lay your foundation row chain on top of the measuring tape to get the most accurate measurement, okay? Once you have reached your desired dimension of your width, go ahead and stop. Make sure you've counted how many chains are in your foundation row. If you miscounted or stopped counting, now is when you need to go back and check how many chains are in that foundation row. Okay, super, super important. Then we move on to the next step. The next thing that you're going to want to take into consideration is the pattern that you are working. Does the pattern that you are working have a multiple stitch count requirement? Okay, and an example of that is um, multiple of two plus one multiple of eight plus three. You might have heard these numbers a couple of times. So you find out, does the pattern you're working have a multiple stitch count requirement? Now look at the number of chains that you made in your foundation row. That's why it's so important to count how many chains were in your foundation row. Okay, does the number of chains in your foundation row meet your stitch count requirement in order to make that pattern possible? 
If it does not, then you're going to want to add more chains onto your foundation row until it does meet your stitch count requirement. You never want to take chains out, okay? Because we have already successfully met blanket required dimension. So if you take out chains in order to meet your stitch count requirement, you are no longer meeting your blanket required dimension. You always want to add chains, not take chains away, okay? Once you have met your foundation row requirement so that you've met the dimension, you've met the stitch count requirement, your width is done. You have figured that all out and you are ready to go about your pattern knowing that your blanket has met its width dimension. The only thing that you have left to work on is the length of your blanket. And that's just the number of rows. So you're just gonna keep working row after row after row until you take your tape measure and you measure out, have you met the length dimension requirement of that blanket once you have your blanket is done. The only other thing that I would have to mention to your blanket is, are you going to make a border for your blanket or not? If you are not going to make a border for your blanket, then you just need to make sure that you have met the width and length dimensions of your blanket, and that's all you gotta worry about. If you are gonna make a border for your blanket, then you have two choices. Are you going to first make the interior of the blanket meet the blanket required dimensions? Or are you going to think of the border, take into consideration how wide you're gonna want that border to be, maybe two inches on this side, two inches on this side, so that will affect, oh, with the border, I only need to make the blanket this many inches wide now. And with the border, two inches on the top, two inches on the bottom, I will only need to make this blanket this long now, okay? Either way, no matter if it has a border or not, make sure that blanket has met the required dimensions in width, required dimensions in length, and you're good. That's all you need to know. Well, I really hope this video was helpful for you. If you did like it or find the information valuable, you might also really like these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.